all right you guys did it you guys got the playmaking video to 100 views so as the last part of this four part mini series of the badges are they useless or use full we're gonna just go into defense and well to really even start all of this to be honest with you man all these defensive badges you see here on the guard and we'll go over the big men later everything here is useless yeah that's right i'm gonna say it all the defensive badges is useless uh, you might as well just go out there with a badge that got one defensive badge maybe uh maybe two maybe three having a build that's a perimeter especially a point guard having a point guard build uh that got 10 plus badges or 20 badges or whatever uh, it's pretty much useless you know it's pretty much useless because uh, you're gonna play a scumbag that's gonna completely eliminate all of this none of this even works you know uh, uh if we start with ankle braces this might be the only badge you know if you're gonna pick a badge that got that got something put on ankle braces man this might be the only badge that's useful in the defensive category because well you know ankle breaks don't really happen that much you know i will say that when you have on ankle braces you you don't really um you know feel the effect of getting shook like you don't go into those animations so ankle braces could be considered uh useless but like ball stripper i mean you ain't got to worry about ball stripping anything uh with the scumbags in this game uh these guards that's in this game that's scummy you ain't got to worry about ball stripping with them because you'll never be in a position to ball strip them because you will uh definitely uh be getting threes drained on your head box big man badge whatever i guess it works um i i guess this just counteracts if a big guy or somebody in front of you has on worm i guess that'll work then uh but eh that can be considered somewhat that's a big man badge that might be sitting later clamps completely useless um you can have this badge on hall of fame and you will still get cooked it does not matter you see because clamp says right there defenders have an access to quicker cutoff moves and are more successful when bumping or hip riding a ball handler well they forget to leave out that uh you can't even touch these dudes now uh you know there's five seven five eight five nine five ten six foot players out here and you can't even touch them because they just speed boosting around everything and everywhere so this badge is probably one of the most useless badges in the game um hall of fame bronze gold silver it don't matter you'll probably get cooked if you get in front of the right scumbag a defensive leader yeah no uh this is of my career badge here uh it you can it don't matter you can have that on whatever you want to have it on uh when you're going against somebody in the scumbag area in the scumbag arena uh it does not matter what you have on defensive leader is not going to save anybody or help anybody hustler this is an underrated badge people don't think about it but when there is a loose ball hustler is a badge that is worth using hustler is pretty good that's why you see me to have it on hall of fame because it can get it can gain you extra possession or two uh throughout a game uh critical uh when there's a ball loose you know you actually get that ball um instead of just sitting there looking at it interceptor another useless badge does not work um a lot of people be like oh well you need to have it on hall of fame whatever yeah okay um people will throw the most obvious passes and your player still act like he ain't got no fingers on his hand just palms just palms that's all he got on them things so interceptors another useless badge defense a lot of these defensive badges are useless menace while guarding your players staying in front of opponent their attributes will drop if good defense is being made this is useless badge because you're not going to stay in front of them that's the whole thing not going to stay in front of those guys they're just going to speed boost left right you to death uh herky jerk there herky jerk there herky jerk everywhere you ain't going to be able to stay in front of them and drop anything so menace useless don't even put it on uh off ball pest ah uh, this badge can be very annoying if somebody has it against you it can be very annoying so we're going to say that this badge is useful we're going to call this a useful badge because it can annoy your opponent if he's off ball without the ball in his hands and you're touching him because he really won't be able to move through the lane so off ball pass yeah we'll consider that useless pig dodger const uh, useful pig dodger construe is the completely useless badge this goes hand in hand with clamps and interceptor it's a badge that's just in the game just to get you to use your badge points on it it don't work uh 
quick dodger you will still get picked on the whole game it does not matter you can have it on hall of fame your player ain't getting through that screen he might get through that screen when you play in career mode and you playing against computers but when you playing against scumbag johnny and scumbag ricky who just sitting here holding one of them is holding circle and be the whole possession while the other one is just left right and speed boost cheesing you to death you pick dodger ain't gonna work and then hey, heaven forbid a point guard got 27 37 44 badges on playmaking and everything is there to help them get by the defender and they asking the power forward the small forward and the center all to set screens with brick wall your pick dodger's not gonna work it's useless don't even put it on pickpocket another useless badge you may think it works this badge only works when you're actually reaching on somebody that's off the ball uh so i guess it can be useful in that way because you're reaching on somebody who's driving by you off the ball uh so pickpocket eh it could be whatever pogo stick we all know pogo stick is is a big man badge that'll go over with we get to the big man badges tireless defender i mean it's useless there ain't no point in having that thing on because what why have it on you know what i'm saying why have the tireless defender on you just gonna make yourself more aggravated when you got this on hall of fame and your energy still draining or it's or it ain't draining but you still ain't in front of him so it really don't matter tireless defender is useless now we're just gonna sit here and we're gonna go over the big man badges uh to see and help our fellow big men out there to let you know what is there and what is not all right here we go with the big man badges this is for my fellow big men out there box useful badge somewhat useful you it, it does help if you can box out people uh it really just counteracts worm of uh, per se because you'll tell if somebody have worm on a higher level than you have box you'll be able to tell so box is considered useless uh useful brick wall this is a useful badge uh this is a useful badge because because uh this helps the scumbags uh get free uh so if you can put this badge to the highest possibility ever uh this badge also seems like it it, it is uh beneficial and it helps you in the post um but brick wall that could be useful chase down artist this badge right here is the most overpowered defensive badge in the game strictly because well this saves everybody from getting cooked you know eight players on the court have this badge on so if you even try to make an take an open layup anywhere after getting past your opponent you're not going to make it because this badge is going to activate and everybody in here is going to be lebron james and they're just going to send it off the backboard every build point guard shooting guard small four power four the most overpowered badge in the game is chase down artists get it on if you can defensive leader whatever we spoke about that already intimidator this badge is actually useful because this badge can actually make somebody put somebody in an animation that they're not trying to be put in so intimidator is a good badge to have on there's nothing wrong with having intimidator on put intimidator on if you can get intimidator pogo stick well this is the badge that everybody uses this badge is just like chase down artists it saves an op opponent from being cooked uh yeah the, the pogo stick is a badge that allows somebody who does not have any defense to continue to have defense because they can just hit triangle or y 40 times and you won't be able to go up in this game at all in the paint because this game is not designed for you to go up in the paint so he'll jump 80 times you try to pump fake he'll still get the bucket over you so pogo stick yeah it's a useful badge because this saves bums and helps bums become elite defending at the rim pogo stick put it on if you can post move lockdown uh probably the most useless badge in the game this badge is supposed to stop the drop step the drop step still happens you're still going to get put into the spot of the court where you cannot do anything except sit there and get pain you're getting into that little semi-circle he's gonna pump fake three four times not get called for three seconds because three seconds is not in this game so you're not going to get called for three seconds you're just gonna sit there he's gonna do that he's gonna score and that's just gonna be it he's gonna make the 80 percent contested layup he's gonna make the layup that says four percent contested and you're standing right there post move lockdown is a useless badge it doesn't stop the drop step the drop step is the most overpowered thing in the game everybody does it it's 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 randy's favorite move it is randy's favorite move the drop step the post down post lockdown useless badge take it out the game we don't need to have any defensive badges rebound chaser is probably the most useful badge in 2k because this help actually helps you get rebounds it's a shame that you can have a 99 defensive re rebound rating and if you don't have this badge on your player won't animate to get rebounds it doesn't make any sense to me but rebound chaser yes it's a useful badge rim protector another useful badge this goes hands in hands with intimidator intimidator and rim protector duo will force some 
animations we'll speed up the little dunk meter when somebody try to dunk on you we'll force them to shoot some booth that you can be grabbed out the air so rim protector is a good badge we already did tireless defender and then we got worm worm and eh. i mean everybody's gonna most likely have box on hall of fame so putting worm on and eh. it's it's useless we're not even gonna say that worm is not used but yes i believe we just covered every badge in the game let me take a look at at, at the list here uh, to make sure I got every defensive badge in the game here. Let me see here. Uh-huh. You know, you just go to Google and you type in defensive badges. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm searching right now to make sure I ain't, I ain't miss nothing, you know. Hmm. They got something called Clutch Defender. Is that a real badge? Is Clutch Defender a real badge? I don't know what that is. Um, no, I don't care. Uh, that'll pretty much wrap it. I wrap this video up. Uh, when it comes to defense, yeah, defense strictly is um, well, it's is non-existent. Uh, so you can play defense at your own risk. You can do whatever you want with your build. I'm just here to tell you that defense don't matter. Uh, once you play a scumbag, that's determined to be a scumbag to show you that he is the scummiest of the scum and the lowest of the low. Everything that you earned on your defensive side of the ball will be just abused and not used. Uh, so, hey, like I said, you can make it whatever you want. You, If you a big man, go out there and put your post lock down on Hall of Fame. See how that gets you. Uh, if you a car, put your clamps on Hall of Fame. See where that gets you. Put your pig dodge on Hall of Fame. See where that gets you. When you play Herky Jerk Scumbag Tommy, you're going to find out it don't matter because you're going to get brick walled by three players just so he can get one three. That's it. Um, but, yeah, that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. And I hope you enjoyed this video today uh, because it's Chris Jones is signing out.